Hey everyone, tonight I'm going to make stuffed squid and it's going to be with pork, ginger, and garlic. Um, I kind of got the idea from your typical restaurant barbecued squid, but I wanted to make it a little bit different, so I'm just going to add some pork to it. I usually add um, glutinous rice when I do this, but um, I think you guys probably enjoy meat better, so if you guys want to um, see how that's made, stick around. Oh, also, I want to know what you guys want to see me make. Do you want more Asian-styled recipes, um, Japanese, do you want Western? I don't know, so let me know. So leave a comment down there and just let me know what you want to see me make. For the rice, I'm just going to add this mushroom mixture. You can probably buy it at any um, Asian grocer. Maybe like TNT or... I think I got mine at Lucky 97. And I'm just putting it into one cup of rice. I'm just going to add some um, julienne carrots to the rice as well. I know this isn't how you traditionally julienne carrots, but I find this way easier for me. So I'm just going to add in the mushrooms. And I already have a can of salmon in there. You can put tuna if you like. I like salmon because it has it's a little bit more oily and it gives it a nice flavor. And you can put um, shiitake if you like. You can also add soy sauce or, I don't know, maybe some ginger, garlic, whatever you like to it. Make sure you add um, a little bit less than the at the one line because mushroom tends to retain a lot of water. So you don't want your rice to become soggy. For the filling, I have a pound of ground pork. If you like, you can um, use ground chicken. That would also be a nice substitute. But first, I need to add um, shiitake onions, uh, ginger, garlic, some soy sauce, some chili, and some hot sesame oil. So you just need to dice up the shiitake. Make sure you reconstitute it. I cut off the stems and um, I'm going to actually use them for some soup later on. So don't throw them out because they actually really do have a nice flavor to them. And you just want to dice these. For the filling, I'm also going to add some shrimp. And right now I have some peeled and deveined thawed shrimp. And you just want to cut it into little pieces. Make it a little bit smaller. And so what you, you should have is some minced shrimp right now. For the onion, you just want to finely dice it. I'm going to use about a half of an onion. And what you should do, and something that I didn't, is you should keep the root end on so it's easier to dice. what you should have is a nice kind of minced pile. For the garlic, I'm actually going um, to make it into a paste. Or you can just mince it like this. But I kind of wanted to show you another way to do it. What you want to do is add um, a little bit of salt to it. 
and then just grind it into a paste. And what the salt does is the granules actually help it grind down. And you'd probably do this if you're adding it to a pesto or something that you aren't going to cook through because you don't really want like a chunk of garlic. And there you have garlic paste. And I'm just going to dice up some carrots for the filling as well. For the ginger, you can also just um, use a rasp, and when it's frozen, just grate it. Or you can just do this and cut it into little pieces. Right now, I'm just cooking the pork. And now, I'm just going to add the onions and the carrots. I just added in mushy pocket and ginger, and you don't want to add the shrimp in because it's um, it's already cooked. So the more you cook it, it's going to get tough. So you just want to add that at the end. And right now, I'm just going to add the hot sesame oil. With um. Sriracha, the rooster brand. And some soy sauce. You can add hot chili flakes if you like, if you don't have the sriracha that's a substitute or cayenne pepper. And make sure to um, get all your pork into little tiny pieces because you need to stuff it into the tubes. Now the last thing you want to add is the shrimp and the garlic. Oh my god this smells so good. For the squid I'm just going to spray this. This is actually what I got. There are three tubes and they're cleaned already so I don't need to do that. But what you want to do first is um, actually run it through water. The last thing you want to do is add one egg to make sure that um, to bind it when it cooks. And I usually, whenever I um, stuff squid, I do it with glutinous rice. But um, I thought you guys would enjoy watching me do it with pork. Um, you can also do like an Italian one with uh, tomatoes and basil and maybe like a nice Italian sausage. I don't know, maybe like fill it with ricotta cheese or parmesan. Oh yeah, and I also added some green onions to this. And now all you need to do is just stuff it. You know, you can also just mix some rice with this pork mixture if you have more um, tubes to fill or you can also just add more meat so it's about um, full you don't want to jam it too packed because it's gonna um, rip 
And all you do is take some toothpicks. Now, I don't know where my other ones went, but I have these flimsy ones. If you guys have thicker ones, that's better, because you can actually, um, actually poke it through and weave it. And just like that. And then all you have to do is salt and pepper it and put it into the oven. Alright guys, so I finished filling it and I do have um, a little bit left, so maybe enough for one more small tube. And I'm just going to put some salt on it. And just put it So in I'm just going to put it in my um, toaster oven. I'm not going to use my um, actual oven. I'm not sure what this cooks at. I'm just going to say 350 because I that's what I would cook it in my um, oven. I'm just going to do it for 20 minutes and I'll see if it's Alright guys, then. I lied. I'm actually going to pan fry it. I want to get a nice color so I think this would be a lot better. Something you can also do is that if you have um, an indoor grill pan, that'd be nice because you would get the, the grill marks on it. Alright guys, that is the final dish. You got your mushroom and carrot rice with some salmon on it. And the squid with pork and ginger, garlic, and um, shiitake. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Alright guys, here's the dish. This is the rice. I don't know if you can see it. And that's the squid, and I'm going to taste it. Hopefully it's good. Alright guys, okay, that's good stuff. Um, I just wanted to let you know, sorry for not uploading for a long time. Um, I've actually been pretty busy. I'm having finals right now. I had one today, so I haven't slept. I actually pulled an all-nighter. I've had seven cups of coffee. I don't know if you can see my bags in my eyes, but I'm super tired. Um, and then I found out that there was an earthquake in Japan, and um, I was trying to find out if my mom was okay, because she just... Uh, she uh, went back home to visit her parents, and she's actually in Osaka right now, but I couldn't get a hold of her, but uh, I actually just recently got an email, so she's fine, and um, my aunt and my grandparents are fine, and my cousin, I don't know, I think he might be in Korea right now, so he's fine as well, but um, my uncle, I think he's in Tokyo, and I haven't heard of him so hopefully he's fine and um, my prayers go out to everyone who's been affected by um, the earthquake oh and I just want to let you guys know that I actually start student teaching next week so nobody better call me Tamago Sensei okay or else you guys are gonna get a detention